Hello YouTubers! I just wanted to put out this really quick video. Um, I'll try to make it short. Many of you have asked me, what do I do from the time I have the little eggs, as you can see, there's two of them, and then if you look underneath, well look right there, see? This little one is dangling on the side of the nectar, and uh, the other one I will save, don't worry. Um, and then here are the eggs, okay? They've decided to, see how beautiful is that? And there's a lot of them. Look, there's a lot of them. It just goes and goes and goes. And, um, and this is what I was talking about. These, these vet wraps are perfect. You want a bright color. Remember, it's all kind of mimicking. The nectar is all mimicking what a flower would bring. So, and here we go. Look at, look at all these. I'm trying to, there you go. And then underneath, I don't want to tip it, but underneath, um, more eggs and more eggs. So what do I do first thing? First thing is I unwrap gently and save any that are underneath or that might have developed. And then they go in here. Now look at this little guy. He's right on top. Look at that. Look how small. Look at my hand. This is a very small cricket container. So this is what you want to see. You want to see these little ones climbing out because that means that let me open this sorry Oop, there's one on the screen even what you want to do sorry about that is okay this is what I do initially right when I on I take the wrapping off okay to, to so I don't disturb the eggs and then I just sort of lay it in here but look 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 these I just put in a few days ago look how many of the eggs are still there and look at these. These are very viable. Don't mind the fruit flies. I have a watermelon on my counter and they're driving me crazy. Um, right here. Look, see? Let me pull it out. Look at all the little hornworms. So that's what you want to see. And the only reason I put some food on there a few days ago, I'm going to get rid of that now and pick the little ones off and put fresh there, is because some of them do develop a lot faster and others don't develop at all. So you wanna make sure you've got what they need in there. So basically, here's what I do. I take this little container. You can use any container you want. I unwrap the vet wrap that has all the eggs on them, okay? And then I set them inside. I put a, a moistened paper towel in the bottom of this little container and then I position some, some kind of screening they can climb on. You can use one of your old um, hornworm cup uh, plastic, uh, I don't know what you'd call these, these little, I bought them on Amazon. There's somebody on Amazon, or actually I bought them on eBay, I think, but you can buy these pre-cut. Somebody's making money on that. And it's just a lot easier. So you, you set something in there they can climb on. It can, it can even be like fake plant you know, the leaves, you can set those in there. They will, they will grow and they will start walking around everywhere and they'll walk on those. You wanna get them walking because they wanna walk so they can eat. They, that's their instinct. So look at the difference in size between these two. See that itty bitty tiny one right there? All right, and then you see this other, these others are bigger. They just grow at different speeds. This little guy, he's in my netting. <laughs> and then there's lots of little ones. So it's an art form. <laughs> it's an art form. It also takes a minute to learn how to handle them. Like, how do I get this little guy to let go? Well, it's, it's something you just have to practice and do on your own. Sometimes you'll smash them with your finger accidentally, but don't worry, just keep going. You'll learn how to gently roll them off with your finger and if they fall you just pick them up again but there's a little bit of like a spider netting I notice sometimes they can weave to, to secure themselves so if you feel any of that that's real all right guys I just wanted to let you know what I do during that very important stage from eggs 
to baby hornworms. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove these, I'm gonna clean this up, I'm gonna very, very gently take the ones, it's time consuming, but it's worth it. I'm gonna take some of these out and just set them off and then change everything out. I wanna keep this clean. I'm gonna get rid of any food because believe it or not, no matter how impeccable you are, you don't wanna leave food to go bad. Once it starts getting dried and crappy, you wanna make some fresh. Now, what if you don't have any rapashi hornworm available, okay? Try to get some, try to get some if you can. It really is the best beginning meal for them. But I make a batch, I keep it in the fridge, and I just pull it out in the stage as I need it. When they get a little bigger, go online. There is a list of things that you can feed them, like certain vegetables. And I like to take mixed greens that are organic and rinse them off and I put them in there. So it just depends on what you have the ability to feed them. But look it up because there's lists of hornworm vegetables they can eat all over the place, okay? Um, so that's it in a nutshell. I hope that answers your questions for those that are like, what do I do from this stage to that stage? You're just gonna groom them along as they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know what happens when they get to a certain size. They start quadrupling real fast. So have fun with it. And remember, you have to fail sometimes in order to figure out what works at your house. This is what works at my house. You just need to figure out what works at your house. You can do this. Just don't give up. Remember, even the best of us have failed many times, uh, many times. So ask your questions. Let me help you. Thank you so much for subscribing, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a really great week. Bye.